Scott Smith, Marketing Manager for Formula Power Boats, and we're here today to uh, show off the 290 Bowrider. Uh, it's been a staple of our Bowrider lineup for a few years now. We've got some updated graphics, uh, a few new features. Uh, hopefully we can take it out and show the, the classic formula rides there. We'll see the classic formula lines. Uh, it's a good solid boat. Uh, it's not as big a news as some of the newer ones, but it's still a staple of our lineup and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, Chris Powell, Marketing Manager with Ilmore. Got the 290 formula here with us. This has got our 5.3 liter engines in a twin package, made it up to our one drive drive package. Unique about this boat is our new smart heading feature. Our smart heading feature provides a uh, autopilot solution for the recreational market, it allows uh, good heading hold and uh, the ability to utilize the steering wheel as your heading input device. So we'll go out in the water and we'll uh, demonstrate that for you guys today, uh, but excited to be here and, and, and take you through this package. What's that? It's a good one for an engine video. The oh, yeah. one's nice and Perfect, so we have a pair of 5.3 liter Ilmore engines here in this Formula 290. These are Gen 5 GM engines, all aluminum, lightweight, very powerful, <laughs> completely closed, cooled. That's standard on the Ilmore package. All front mounted service points, super easy to get in here and do all your pre departure checks. Uh, really a great package. Smooth, efficient power, uh, really what works well in, uh, in this Formula 290. So yeah, got, so uh, so we've got all of our, as I was saying, the, all of our front-mounted service points here, so super easy to get in and, and, and do all your checks here. Uh, raw water pump right in the front of the engine, uh, impeller changes are, are absolutely, a, absolutely a breeze. Uh, as we were saying, all, all closed cooling, so uh, this, uh, this particular engine package is perfectly fine in a, in a saltwater environment as much as a freshwater environment. So we're going to look at the bow area first on this Formula 290 bow rider. Uh, one hand opening on there. So you can see it's a nice open area. A uh, couple things about it. We do have filler cushions that will go in here if you like. However, it's set up now so that your passenger can actually sit forward. A nice armrest for them. Obviously plenty of... Uh, Plenty of drink holders, inductive charger areas, uh, actual power points, our sound systems up here, a nice little chain locker, and you can see this one actually has a windlass, which is optional, but the fit and finish is all formula. It's on a spring-loaded gas shock, so that closes real well. And like I said, you, know, you do have the option to do a complete filler cushion area including a backrest and then uh, nice floor storage here let me give you a little look at that this is one thing you will always find in a formula and you've got her filled up now but that's nice and deep and it extends forward again on a glass shock and if you notice this is another formula signature uh, this is actually finished on both sides in the mold so there's a little bit of RTM Nice storage underneath the captain's area, and you can see we're utilizing that. And here are your filler cushions. And this does, just FYI, open up and lock in with a barrel lock if you want a nice uh, wind block for the day. Automotive type dashboard, uh, take a look at the detail on the stitching. That's one thing we do always pride ourselves in. Uh, Formula's got its own upholstery department, and these little brows are just a finishing touch that you won't see everywhere. Nice cockpit. Uh, Stereo is mounted in here, weather resistant. This is also the pen area, which is <laughs> great for, for storing rugs and safety kits but there is a, <laughs> a finished head in there 
Uh, the floor has a hardwood finish and there is a wet sink in there. Nice finish on the dashes. Uh, gauge package with the bezels, standard. Uh, these displays are optional, it just depends on what kind of power you get. But a nice one touch joystick here. Uh, again, lots of storage area for today's modern electronics. Plenty of power points and options. There's an inductive charger right over here that you can see the phone on right now. Uh, seating is actually adjustable. And that includes for when you're at anchor at the sandbar or what have you. You can also finish it with this. Uh, it also applies to the passenger seat. And then just a lot of storage. Again, that's a nice finish. Formula standard. Now, nice. batten down the hatches. Yeah, that'll be good. Show the extra options. Yeah, the, the toilet tape's free. <laughs> Yeah, these heads have come a long way. Okay, all right, and uh, we have the floor snapping matting. This is installed. It gives it a nice feel and finish. A little bit different than your uh, your non-skid. Um, this is nice for those days when you want to just have a little bit more comfort. And um, okay. <laughs> All right, mid cockpit. Um, you know the, the main features I'm seeing is again storage here. Plenty more over here. We have some under the aft seat as well. That's just minimal, <laughs> but um, again on the aft seat. All right. Uh, the fiberglass arch is also an option on this boat. You can also get a aluminum sport arch or, or nothing at all. Uh, but this makes for great sun coverage. This will extend forward. Uh, you can get pieces that go aft. Um, once you have that, you can come on back to the sun deck. Again, this is a a couple options here with the, uh, the, the mat option on the floor. There. And you also have a shower, stereo controls. Uh, this is actually an extended swim platform, which is another option, but it gives you a huge, huge amount of space to wander around on here. And the nice thing about a formula is in all the cockpit, you've got the high-end vinyl. Lots of nice touches there, great sewing, baseball stitched. But beneath here you have dry fast foam, which will let the water pass through, or at least dry out. And no wood, it's all starlight and starboard, but it's all ventilated and you can see those touches here. All right, um, so we have a lot of uh, Lavorsi gauges here. Of course, these are brand name Lumar and Ritchie. Uh, instruments, but we also have carling switches, contour of twos. These things are old reliable and you can't go wrong with them. Uh, we have the control screens for the uh, Merlin over here, and we'll show that. Oh, we'll have them turn it on and everything, get what you need. Then a trim over here, and of course the Elmore uh, controls over here. Now we're in um, throttle control mode, so if we come back to neutral and then push the forward button on the joystick, we're in joystick mode now, so we can drive with the joystick, give some steering capability, we can, um, I'll get out to a little more depth there, we're at three feet right now, I'll just get us out here and then I'll demonstrate the uh, sure. joystick. Yep. Now ideally the uh, the drives, as I was saying with the joystick, they should be down as far as possible. Um, so we indicate here that the drives are up higher than they should be. 
So when we're uh, when we're in a little bit deeper water like this, we can uh, bring the drive trim down. And now it gives us better joystick control. And, uh, so now from here, if we uh, come back, let go of the joystick, we're in neutral. Um, pull back, we'll get reverse, and then we can uh, go into a rotation with the joystick. So it'll just spin us right in, in location. Do you want to show us a, a full diagonal movement? That's one of the yep. things that we can... Yeah, so if we're coming in to a dock and just want to do a um, sideways movement. gives a fair, fair bit of control for docking and maneuverability when you're in the joystick. Um, and um, then when you're ready to go back on the throttle, you can just um, select it here. And then we're back into steering control. Uh, to demonstrate the, um, let me do the smart. Uh, yeah, we can probably should get out here where we do a little run and we can yeah. do a smart heading overview. So we can um, <clears throat> we can go into uh, smart heading and it's um, it's locked our heading on now even at slow speed. Um, uh, so you can just let the uh, the heading control the boat for you. We've engaged the smart heading, so the heading's now locked in. Um, and if we wanted to make an adjustment, we'd use the steering wheel as our input device. Jim's going to demonstrate here that we can make a course change. And then we come back off the steering wheel and it's locked into the new, the new heading. So in this page, we can actually see our, uh, our target heading. So we can um, see if we, uh, if we change the heading. Our, uh, our target there, where we are, if we, um, if I give it a, um, on to the right here, see our boat is left at target, now we're on target, and um, running in smart heading. If, uh, if we want to um, make a, a quick course change, we can move the wheel quickly, and it'll take over, take us out of smart heading. We can get our uh, our new heading and walk back in again. We've got our IMU is right up here. So let's say somebody's on the boat, and you know we're back here, and they decide to hold their phone up to, to take a selfie. We've introduced a lot of interference to this unit, but as you can see, we're not we're not kicking out of smart heading because we're using the multi-level redundancy with the three different sensor systems built into the IMU. And as one of those systems fails from interference, it, re it goes to a redundancy of a different system and the smart heading is able to operate un uninterrupted. So a lot of safety built into that. Fantastic. Yeah, so the wheel is uh, yeah. tiltable here. Um, and uh, with ignition on, our uh, engine screen comes up. Uh, we've got several um, several screens here where um, we can see numeric uh, values of the parameters, um, uh, some bar graphs, so just a different variety of screens. The main screens for um, for normal steering and throttle would be this page where we show the rudder angle, the drive trim, 
So as we trim the drives up, it shows uh, drive position, um, the uh, water temp, um, and uh, then if we go into joystick mode by pressing the forward button here, it goes to a screen which um, just gives better display on what the joystick is doing if we're moving forward to the left, to the right, back, um, or putting a twist into it to spin on axis. Um, and then um, uh, we show fuel level here um, so we can uh, monitor uh, how much fuel's in the boat. Um, this shows the actual um, current fuel of 72 and a half gallons. So the engine um, feeds the information on fuel usage to tell us uh, the exact fuel level. Um, we also just monitor on the engines. We have um, a smart uh, relay box on the engine so it um, identifies all the circuits that are turned on uh, so we can see if um, as things are enabled um, the, uh, the relay is turned on. Um, if any relays trip it can be reset from the dash here as well. Um, and um, then uh, the um, you, you can go to the controls page there for the joystick page or to the uh, to the throttle page. Yep. Let's go a little slower at it. Yeah, it's it's, it's progressive. progressive. So what it's showing you right here is how much. So if you were to twist it a little more, you'll see that blue build. It builds. Okay. And here we go. Yep. So if you're in a uh, so this Formula 290 is powered by the Ilmore OneDrive. Uh, Ilmore OneDrive is a really unique drive in that it uses hydraulic clutch packs versus a more traditional cone clutch style. What that allows us to do is to have completely smooth uh, shifting. So there's no gear engagement, no clunk from, from forward to reverse or to neutral. And what that translates into for the customer is really uh, a really nice experience, particularly highlighted when you're in joystick mode because we're able to shift multiple times per second and provide a completely uh, completely smooth and effortless joystick, joystick experience uh, and really a lot more responsiveness with that. Uh, but overall, uh, the, the Ilmer OneDrive is, is a pretty bulletproof unit uh, and really designed, uh, designed for uh, you know, applications just like this Formula 290. Well, Gene is the well, back in the old days we had dealer meetings and everything. Always get the 
best one out first, right? The second one is like, oh man. Put three different inputs in here, remember that? That's exactly right. Just Jim, do you want to, I think he's going to do some yeah. filming over. Be sure to subscribe to Power Boating for more great content.